Hello everybody, how are you? It's Murat Sultan with you again. So uh, we'll see today how can you uh, use the method of completing the square to solve some quadratic equation. Okay, the aim of completing the square modernus is what? Is to write a quadratic function as a perfect square. Here are some examples of perfect square. Okay, for example here we have x squared plus 6x plus 9 it can be written as x plus 3 all squared okay why x plus 3 all squared because 6 divided by 2 is 3 and you will square this 3 give us 9 this one is called perfect square triangles okay then x squared minus 10, 10x plus 25 is also a perfect square why simply because x squared minus 10x Plus 25 equal x minus 5 multiplied by x minus 5 equal x minus 5 all squared and we will get double root. Okay. Then x squared plus 12x plus 36. You can see that half 12 is 6. Then I will square 6 to be 36. That's why it's called a perfect square. Okay. Try to factor this. It's very easy for you, my learners, my kids, boys and girls. Here we have let's say x squared plus 6x plus 9 is x plus 3 all squared i factorize this and this one is called perfect square trinomials why simply because this is 3 we got this 3 when when you divide 6 by what 6 by 2 give us 3 then you will square this 3 give us 9 okay this one also a perfect square why because 5 was obtained when 10 divided by 2 then you will square this 5 it will be 25 also this one x squared plus 12 x plus 36 is x plus 6 squared all of this kind of equation are called perfect square triangles can you see a numerical connection between what 6 and 9 and using 3 for example 3 multiplied by 2 gives 6 3 multiplied by 2 gives 6 3, multi, 3 multiplied by 2 or by, by itself or 3 squared is 9. 3 squared is 9. Then negative 5 multiplied by 2 gives negative 10. Negative 5 multiplied by 2 gives negative 10. Means that you divide this by 2 gives negative 10. Then you should square this negative 5 squared. Means negative 5 by negative 5. Negative and negative positive. 5 by 5, 25. Then 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 squared is 36 okay so here for a perfect square the follow the following relationship will always be true x squared plus 6x plus 9 okay so you can see that half of these plus 6 half of plus 6 is plus 3 square 3 is 9 then half of negative 10 is negative 5 square negative 5 is 25 so you we square we square let's say what we have it okay to get 9 and get 25 so are this value of course yes when you divide 6 by 2 gives 3 3 squared is 9 okay and so as uh, 25 it's called the perfect square connection here, for example, in the following perfect square triangles, the constant term is missing. Can you predict what it might be, my learners? For example, here, x squared plus 14x plus what? We, we want to make a perfect square triangles. Means that you will divide 14 by 2, give 7, then right here, 7 squared, it will be 49. And you square this. Okay? For example, here, Find the constant term by squaring half, half the coefficient of the linear term. This is, is li the linear term, the coefficient of the linear term is 14. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 7 squared, 49. Here you should write 49. Okay. Then, okay, it will be 14 over 2 is, 14 over 2 is 7 squared. It will be 49. So I can continue to complete the constant term that is missing 
okay then x plus 14x plus 49 is equal to x plus 7 all square okay then here we have we will try to create perfect square trinomials mean that x squared plus 20x plus what the constant term you will get from where from 20 you will divide 20 by 2 give us 10 10 squared is 100 you should write here 100 the next example x squared minus 4x plus what the constant term the constant term here you will divide 4 by 2 it will be 2 then you should square 2 it will be 4 you will write 4 here then x squared plus 5x plus what the constant term why we search for the constant term in order to construct a square or a perfect square trinomial means i will divide this coefficient of linear term 5 divided by 2 then i will square here 5 divided by 2 all square means 25 divided by 4 okay you can see this this is 100 why because 20 divided by 2 10 10 squared is 100 i will put here 100 then this is 4 why because 4 divided by 2 is 2 2 squared is 4 then the, the last one is 25 divided by 4 okay for example here my learners x squared plus 8x minus 20 equals you i will try to use the method of completing the square to solve this kind of quadratic equation okay you can see that x squared plus 8x minus 20. it will be i will divide 8 by 2 give us 4 it will be x plus 4 all squared minus 16 minus 20 it will be x squared plus 4 all squared sorry to be between parentheses x plus 4 all squared minus 36 equals 0 so minus 36 i will uh, transfer on the right hand side it will be 36 means x plus 4 squared equal 36 so what is the square root of 36 it will be 6 or negative 6 very good so i will make x plus 4 equal 6 or x plus 4 equal negative 6 then i continue okay step one move to the constant term minus this one you will write it there and you will try to find the constant term of this quadratic equation to make a perfect square okay move to the constant term means that the number to the right of the equation so this is x squared plus 8x plus a box missing number or constant term to make this as a perfect square equal to 20 because before it was negative 20 i will add 20 to both sides plus what i will add here it will be the same here or this is the constant term this is the constant term you can see this is a the red one I will divide 8 by by 2 give us 4 then i will square this 4 4 squared is 16 so here i will add 16 and here i will add 16 so x squared plus 8x plus 16 equal 20 plus 16 so this one is a perfect square x plus 4 all squared equal 20 plus 16 is 36 okay so find the term that completes the square on the left hand side of the equation then add that term to both sides here for example it will be x plus 8 x plus 16 now this one my learners is what is the perfect square equal 20 plus 16 so this one it will be x plus 4 not x minus because this is plus x plus 4 multiplied by x plus 4 equal 36 so this is x plus 4 all squared equal 36 so this one is called the difference between two squares 36 it will be 6 squared or negative 6 all squared so in order to simplify this i will make x plus 4 equal 6 or x plus 4 equal negative 6 step number three you will factor the perfect square trinomial on the left hand side of the equation simplify the right side of the equation okay
similar learners we have we told before that x plus 4 equal plus or negative 6 means now we make x equal minus 4 plus 6 or x equal minus 4 minus 6 and you will just calculation you can find the roots we have to do different roots simply because the discriminant the value of the discriminant is different to zero okay set up the two possibilities and solve we set up the first possibility then we set up the second possibility then we found the value of the roots okay thank you for listening okay we can do that like that or just we divide all the quadratic equation by 2 2x squared divided by 2 gives x squared minus 7x divided by 2 it will be minus 7x plus what gives negative 12 divided by 2 is minus 6 then this one this box i will add something to make a perfect square here on the left hand side the perfect square you should add 7 squared divided by 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 4 squared okay 7 divided by 4 squared will be 49 divided by 16 okay then you can see that find the term that completes the square on the left hand side of the equation add that term to both sides then the quadratic coefficient must be equal to 1 that's why here we put 1 okay you complete the square so you must divide all terms by the quadratic coefficient first it's better okay now we can read that x squared minus 7x over 2x plus 49 divided by 16 this one my learners is what is the perfect square equal negative 6 plus 49 over 16 is minus 6 you can write as 6 divided by 1 then multiply by 6, 16 to get the common denominator I will write this as x minus 7 over 4 all squared equal negative 96 over 16 plus 49 over 16 so here we have let's say x minus 7 over 4 all squared equal negative 47 over 16 and this is a negative so it's impossible to solve this kind of equation we say impossible okay but in fact it has complex 